Ashok purchased pens and pens, pencils in the ratio 2 is to 3 during his first visit and paid rupees 86 to the shopkeeper. During his second visit, he purchased pens and pencils in the ratio 4 is to 1 and paid rupees 112. Ratio is given. 2 is to 3 pens and pencils. He paid rupees pays rupees 86. Next time it is 4 is to 1 ratio and he spends rupees 112. Lovely. The cost of a pen as well as a pencil in rupees is a positive integer. Lovely. We're dealing with integers. If Ashok purchased four pens during his second visit, then the amount he paid in rupees for the pen during the second visit is rupees for the pens during the second visit is he purchases four pens during a second visit so the ratio is not just four is to one it is four pens and one pencil now this is wonderful i don't want to deal with this is ratio here in the second visit he buys four pens and a pencil for 112 right for the first time the ratio is two is to three so he could have bought 2x plus 3y for 86 or 4x plus 6y for 86 or 6x plus 9y for 86 and so on. x is cost of a pen, y is cost of a pencil. Life is simple, wonderful, all good. Right? Now, we don't know what to solve. This is 2x plus 3y, it could be 4x plus 6y, it could be 6x plus 9y, etc. It could be 20x plus 30y, 20 pence and 30 pencil. Now, we come to the beautiful other constraint, which is the the price is not just an integer it's a nice positive integer 4x plus one pencil costs 112 two pence and three pencils costing 86 i can imagine i'm already struggling with this why think about it this is four pence and six pencils four pence and one pencil cost 112 four pence and six pencils has to cost more pencil cost positive integer it cannot cost less. Therefore, I can ignore all of this. My two equations are 4x plus y is 12, 2x plus 3y is 86. Multiply this by 2, 4x plus 6y is 172. Subtract one from the other, 5 times y is 172 minus 112, 60 or y is 12. Cost of pencil is 12. On a second trip, he makes 112 rupees he spends, of which 12 are for pencils, or cost of the pens, amount he paid in rupees for the pen during a second visit. Yes, Beautiful question, because we get the ratio to start with, and then we say the second one is not just a ratio, it's actually four pens and one pencil. So four pens plus one pencil costs 112. We have that in the bag. It could be two pens and three pencils, or four pens and six pencils, or six pens and nine pencils. Only that, only it cannot be any of this because a four pence and a pencil cost 112. Four pence and six pencils cannot cost 86. We are not dealing, we are not accounting for something being negative. That's clearly mentioned. It's a, not just a mathematical thing, it's a contextual thing. Cost of pencil is not negative and more, of, more clearly it has been mentioned. It's a positive integer. So all of these we don't need to worry, just simultaneous equation. Get it.